Give them something. You, what are you doing? Oh, man. Duncan, please help me one minute. All right, so, uh, uh, I just do a check. I'm sure. The green light, man? Yes. Why? Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, we are here at the uh, defense of the uh, late President Samuel Kayan Doe uh, in Suetu. Now, this is as a result of a call from the county superintendent following a training video on the social media that uh, the government of this country, uh, alongside with some prominent grand children, including Zoe Emanuel Piano and Kai Galufale, are training some junta in this fence. All right, preparing them as a way of hacking or hijacking the 2023 uh, general and presidential elections. So that's why the superintendent has called on the press, the joint security, to move into the building and do a robust search. And as a way of making sure that the information released on social media is true and is verified. And so that's why we are here. So follow us and don't go away. All right, so this is the fence of the of the late president, Samuel Kayando. This is where we are uh it's, it's it's challenging we have to go up there the place is locked you get to know that there is no major entry i mean the gate is there but it's totally locked so you can see that right here right here it's locked so but we have to jump over there to go all right so that that is it just follow us let me get let me get in and i can you can go hold it all right so we have to Okay, so we move into the, the compound, right? The whole place, there is no easy access. We have to jump up the go. And though this team is comprised of the joint security, including the Library National Police and uh, the Liberian Immigration Services, the Drug Enforcement Agency, community members, and the mass media. This is the community, this is the environment. Here we are in the compound of the house belonging to late president of this country, Dr. Samuel Kanto. The building you see there is the building. So follow us. Following these allegations or on social media that the president of this country, His Excellency Dr. George Manuel, is doing all he wants to do to hack the process, the election process, 2022, 2023, general and presidential elections. But this is what we are following up to know whether those assertions and allegations on the social media are true, specifically beginning with the allegations that the Trini going on in this building. This is the building. All right. So, where's the soup now? Yeah. yeah. So this is it. Yeah. So you can see here, we are here. This is the place. 
All right, so okay, here comes the the superintendent. So good afternoon. Good afternoon. You tell you care to tell us why we are here. The world is looking at. Where it is, uh, we last night we got on our page and the whole social media uh, a fake page by somebody telling the world that the people of Granada campus are training some of the bees in Nigeria that are all here and people from Nima are all training here in Granada County uh, and that's have been supported by the superintendent Kai Fale from the Sultan and that of the president. So we are coming again this afternoon with joint security to be able to patrol the entire facility that they are talking about which is the door house to make sure that this good people and the ones that are coming on the full estate and that the joint security is after media after two of the building, the joint security is so speaking to the four media and they want to make sure that they follow the process. Well, I can see that entering the compound becomes a difficult thing. So where will people pass to come and train here? Are we going to have access to all of the rooms? Well, again, I think I heard some of the very first times in the compounds of the, our late president. And I'm happy to be here. I know that you saw the difficulty of getting here. I don't know what it got a story from. But we don't want to let the international community go the world at large know that this information provided is, is false and misleading. And that post that they have is fake. You know, we judge anybody who comes to that group. We are here to get that election and change our voice. We are not only the county authorities, but also the joint security of the Grand that are also here. This is something I have to do with your, your own heart and character. What do you also have to say in, in respect to that? Well, again, so, uh, I just want to condemn this. This talk about some time that the information provided by whoever doing the work of the it is fake, it's misleading. And you are here as a journalist, and just be really here to make sure that they did. I just can't this as far as it's misleading in that information issue. As we all know, uh, months to come, uh, the next year will be in the as an election year, so people try to use some propaganda and you know, to make sure that you are still there, no fears of any all of what are people that want to come to grind their country. Grind their country. So this is what we are doing. We are doing our own business here. So, Honorable well, Superintendent, what could be your next action uh, okay. after today's particular okay. search in this particular building? Well, again, uh, what we're going to do here is make sure that after the information we are getting, we will be sex. We will also do a social media to the Minister of Justice uh, to let him know that information on the, thing, on the social media is all fake. And far from being true. Okay, can we move in right away? Sorry? Can we move in? Yeah, sure. So we are now so moving we in. Uh, so keep watching folks as such patients wherever you are. So, so we have the local authority represented by the county superintendent and the county inspector. It's also here. See, this is the building. All right. This is the environment. This place looks completely deserted. You can see here. Okay. Moving into the wall. All right. Okay. Okay. So there's the place inside. And the ball. You have to be a bit careful here because this place is entirely deserted and uh no one can ever think of that. But however, we're here to disprove that those allegations and assertions on the social media. Right, so this is just a balcony of another apartment. So it's the superintendent. So it's the uh, operation, uh, deputy commander for operation at the Liberian National Police. So moving on. You, you'll be able to believe that this stuff grow up here. This is okay. Uh, um, those things that are said, especially it has to do with uh, the training of uh, some junta's, including the Burkina Bees, uh, from Nigeria, or uh, from Burkina Faso, and some Nigerians who are being trained in this place. So. These are rooms and compartments. This place, you can't see a track of any human being. No one has moved in. 
I see that no one has moved in. No one has moved in. Right? No one has moved in. So, let's say, okay, this is a balcony. This is a porch of another apartment. You see this place? There is no trace of anyone coming in here. No footmark. Uh, we do independent search and uh, we are doing it ourselves. We're not following just the superintendent, but uh, we're doing it independently to verify and to authenticate information spread it on social media. Uh, this place has been used as a training ground under the sponsorship of the Zoe Manor Penal, uh, Senator of Brianjita County. And our uh, kind of uh, So that's where we are. We've gone almost all over the building. Yes, this is what you can see here. Can anyone say that uh, people can be trained in here looking at the whole environment, the entire environment is bush. And there is no trace that no one people can enter in and go out of this place freely. Looking at the gate, firmly closed and locked. And so here we are. Alright. So we, we still continue. This is Zwedru. Zwedru in that podcast is termed as a training base uh, for hoodlums who may hijack the 2023 general and presidential elections. And so we talk to uh, follow up on this the, this, the call of the superintendent. But you can share this this post. You can follow us. You can share it. Keep sharing 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 it. We are here. All right. So there we are. Where, where is the ground? Where is the place? That we want to, the media is so eager to know because such information is tantamount to disrupting the peace and stability of this country. And so uh, the mass media is here today to do follow up on those uh, 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 assertions in that video. All right. So that's where we are. Right. Let's go here. This is it. All right, they place here. Okay. And about the training here, at least you will see some level of cleanliness because no one will want to sit in this dilapidated structure, muddy, wet, bad off, and allow themselves to be trained. And they will have a place to sit and eat, but uh, who can eat here? This place is bad off completely. No one is using uh, those languages just to discourage that. But you can see it yourself. See the environment. See the floor. See the floor. Who would train people in this? See shoes in wet grounds. Who can come here and allow themselves to be trained? Yeah, because you talk about eight billion dollars being fused into the activity of training people, so they must have money, and they must be trained in an environment that is conducive for them. All right, so how can this be? All right, but uh, again, we are there. Just keep sharing this information. Keep sharing it. And uh, we will do all we can to make sure that we touch every room. Uh, where is the soup? The downstairs? Okay, so. All right, so going downstairs once more. Uh, still so many rooms that we have to check. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, <laughs> this is bad off to the slippery. Uh, but we have to do it. Uh, yeah, that's the media. Wow. But slippery, and I'm small falling on my head with Nago. All right, so we're going. Well, this, this video just came out like two, almost two days ago. It's on the social media. Uh, you 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 you'll be surprised to note that uh, Grand Cheddar County, that is a peaceful home from time to time, 
has been named as a training ground for hoodlums and, and people who may uh, cause some sort of distraction during the 2023 elections uh, and they be trained by Honorable uh, Kai Fale and the no Senator Zoe Manopeno. But to prove that, as sessions, we are here to check where they're training. But the place of bad of who can sit here and be trained? Yeah, yeah so that's why we're here. Okay, let's so see. This is another hole. So, yeah. All right. Who can allow themselves to sit here to be trained? So, uh, that's the question. That's the big guy's question. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This place was purposely made for a kitchen. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right, keep sharing the post. Keep sharing. Uh, let's go away. Okay. Okay. So we have to go. Okay. 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 Keep All right. Keep All right. All right. All right. So, so troubling environment. Oh my God. Sorry, uh, we have some troubling time. I gotta go here. Wow. Sorry, uh, the, 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 the view, your view was a little bit temporary because we were going into this place. Okay, so, so, after that, the lunch gate will say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go in. That was what the search process still continues. So we are moving back to the program. Okay. Here we have some community radios. We have with us uh, the Tough FM. 105.3. We also have Smile Radio. We have uh, Flash Radio. And uh, we have Voice of GDA. All from Grand GDA County. We are here. Uh, this information has also been followed by the Liberia News Agency. And it's on the screen right now of the Liberia Broadcasting System. We decided to do this robust uh, coverage so as to Prove or disprove the information or the assertions made in that video that is currently trending on the social media. All right. So, here, here. Okay. This environment, this environment. So, so uh, we talk to you, then we we'll talk to the joint security head. Yeah. Java, please come. So we this is the environment. This is this is the role entering the place. Who can pass? All right. So, yeah. all right. So, um, we'll now be getting comments from the the, John, the head of the joint security, and then finally from the superintendent, who we'll give us, uh, yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah, okay, you are here uh, for the search process. How is it so far? Can you give us any information uh, relative to the search? I think yourself, you, know, you observe very well for yourself. You pass through every corner of that building. As 
as per the spec in this one. What's your name, sir? I'm Chief Superintendent Atoke Javi. I'm the Deputy for Administration on the County Police Department. Go ahead. Yeah. I think yourself, as per the spec in this you passed with all part of that building. You saw for yourself. Yeah. You saw for yourself. Yeah. And you did everything you could do to unspell the rumors and nothing of such training. Yeah. So I think you'll be the best person to report in that aspect. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, what could be done so as to keep this building uh, specifically where, uh, you know, uh, there are speculations uh, coming up uh, maybe in the future time, one can tell what happens. So what do you intend to do after here? Uh, uh, I think sure this is not a first of all kinds. We have been doing our best. This place, nobody enter here. Every night we patrol at the other part, although we don't enter, but we have been doing our best. And we'll make sure we'll continue to visit at night hour and inform the superintendent the day to day happening of this place. Is there any community member? Uh, where's money I owe? Please, can we talk to you quickly before we go? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, so we have also in the company some uh, local authority mem uh, uh, staff and some community members. Here is one person. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us your name. My name is Jay Monayo. I work for Ministry of Internal Affairs. I own the decentralization program. I'm the coordinator of our county service center grand year. Tell us what you saw. I, today, by 6 early in the morning, I received uh, a call from a few persons eminent grandchildrens uh, in the diaspora, uh, that there is uh, information against our key leaders, uh, the county superintendent and central training. I also outlined a few things that there are guys that they are training and they're in the list and they kind of do resident. So we have come away from politics. We have come to do a search because it has the image uh, of the county to tarnish the image of the county. So we are very concerned as a citizen. That's why even working in government, we see grandchildren as our own. So we have come with the security operator, with other local government officials headed by the county superintendent to do our own search. So some of us, we are taking video on our own to send to our police, our brothers and sisters in America, in Europe, and all over the world to share with them that the information on, on the on the social media they are based on IT and you know, high international cool politics. So that is not true. They should not be having the fear that mothers, their sisters are in safeguard in the county. So for that reason, we have come to search with the police and other residents and so that they can be aware. Do you think what such information is coming from? Because it's often said that where you see or, or smoke, there must be a fire. Uh, the first and foremost thing, the reason we are concerned is because our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, they are very concerned. We ourselves, we are concerned, our mothers in those villages, that we cannot reach to the information and reach to them. So they have the fear. There is a propensity, some of them living in the county to go to nearby and the county and nearby country. So for that reason, we have come to do a search and do a videotape video and a photograph that the place is bullshit. Nobody will be having a training somewhere that like you see the place will be bullshit. Away from that, even the gentleman who spoke on the media, he does not identify himself with the media outlet he's coming from. Which media practitioner he is, we have not known that. But for the safety of the county, we have come to search. So what do you think could be done next so as to have Grand Gita safe, uh, uh, you know, from time to come, uh, specifically with these kind of information that are coming out? In, in my own mind, I think the best way we are doing it, I think that's the best solution. To provide those information, that the information that has been provided by those, and though it, it, it's misleading, it's fake, and though it's a make-up, so that we need to tell the public themselves. So any other person who would not believe ours also, you are journalists, you are with us, you are not from our building, you are not from government, and you are independent media practitioners. So you yourself can share the information to the public. Do you not think such thing will cause our Grandinians to vote against person? We are camps 2023. No, for the political aspect, I can ask people. So we want to take fear from each citizen to see how best mm. the information those guys are providing, it got political link. So we are far away from politics. So we want for our citizens to remain in the county and avoid the kind of people escaping to say yes. It had a negative thing about president. We are not. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, finally, you. before the superintendent is the county inspector. Sir, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, please come closer to the back. Should I can close this conversation? Uh, tell us what you observe. Well, what I observe here is that uh, the information that I received this afternoon, because for me, I just got the information. I've been very busy since this morning because of the coming of the vice president, and we have been touching bases with all of our commissioners and chiefs. So I decided to have gone to the, the, the palace of the superintendent to give an update of what I've been doing. 
So in that interim year, myself, we intercepted each other at the entrance of the palace. So he asked me to join the convoy, and which I did. Now we have come to verify the information concerning people being and you know, being trained here at this resident of the, the, the late president Samuel Kanyan Do. You all saw the building. We went all through from, from, from the top to the bottom. You saw the, the, the whole thing here is being lying in Rome. Water running all over the building. All the, the, the yard is filled up with sort of butchers. And so I don't see the reason why such an information be given on the, our late president's name. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we can now close the conversation with the superintendent. Okay, so folks, uh, we follow us. Uh, Sorry, good afternoon again once more. Okay, after the search period, tell us. Well, as you all know, uh, the issues of the search is from uh, the work we did. Uh, we just came here this morning to the school, those people that we probably start uh, in the habits of doing this to make sure that they can bring fear to the citizens of Grand Jack County, the residents of Grand Jack County, all to bring confusion between the uh, Nimali and the other people in Nima County and other people of Grand Jack County. Because uh, the media had really reported that uh, there are people from Nima County coming to Grand Jack County, and those people have been trained here. So the, uh, the joint securities uh, comprise of the police, the immigration, the DEA, we're also here to make sure that the search is going, but to see for yourself the journalist, the information we are out there to stand true, is far from being true. And we also want to use this whole media to let our people know to remain uh, a lot of body, to remain, uh, to have no fear, to remain to go about a, uh, a normal business. There are no threat, there are nobody training here in Grand Jack County, and we are not intent to do anything to that. Those people are doing the things that all people are doing politics because the election is coming. So where do you think this information may have originated from? Well, uh, again, uh, probably they have done that for We don't know where it's coming from, but those people that we are here, one day we have know that. But we can say to the international communities and then the members at large and our citizens that uh, that information that is in social media is far from being true. We have no intent of doing that. The security are all here. They own a regular night patrol. They are all here in the facility. They run the same information that are in the facility. So, so no time. And no time that it will have here of that will be granted to be free. Do you think this may have any trickle down effect on the re election of President George Manu when it comes to what is, far, what is far from being that, what is far from being that, while I know that the people of Grand Jack County, there are people yeah. that are committed to the process, there are people that have seen development coming from this uh, uh, video shows of uh, President Weir, and they are already committed to the President last year in February, and they are also committed to yeah. that the re election bill of President Weir will be for for and the Grand Union are resolved to make sure that they get in the second attempt. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how we come to this uh, such process. And finally, with the superintendent, thank you very much. Okay, so this is how we call it a day. And so, uh, so uh, okay, so this is what we did, and this is the follow up. This is the such process. And that is how we have come to the end of the such process. It has been verified that in this building, there is no one staying here. The environment is so bad, off, so bushy and so muddy, so that it has been established by the Joint Security and the community members who are part of this uh, this such process that this place can never be used by anyone to do a particular job or to conduct any training. Even having access to the building becomes a problem. So that is how we have come to the end of this wonderful uh, coverage. Thank you very much and bye-bye.